Hey Strikers, this is SF and Treasure Ship is the normal extreme for this current series and my team is going to be Joy of Bell, Tampopo, and Bill Zabubu. That is Zabubu. And my friend is going to be Akira because why not? And in terms of the dungeon, it's not that bad. Uh, there's only you only need to worry about the no wind, and if you have mana, then you'll be running mana, and you probably won't be needing this kind of team. But if you don't have mana, then here's another way of dealing with it, in my opinion. So, like I said, you uh, you kind of want no wind monsters, although I only have one no wind monster. But I do have a lot of mob clearing with uh, Kirua and uh, Bezibu. So what you gotta do is to stay away from the specter. So the wind will blow you outward in line with the specter and that will shoot out the virus. And the virus basically means don't touch your allies or else they will get damaged as well and then it keeps on spreading and you'll keep on be and you'll keep on getting damaged until you die basically. And of course hearts will not clear uh, will not cure this po uh, this virus like heart uh, like poison. And it does 7,000 per tick. So it does get a little bit dicey, but there is a saving grace in terms of the angel. If you proc the angel skull gimmick, it will heal uh, all the viruses out of you. That would be really good. So you can bring size recovery monsters like uh, Michael in there. There's probably a few status recovery monsters that are really good. Sadly, there's no max luck monster or max luck, well, farmable monster. Uh, that can deal with the has size recovery. But either way, it's not bad. I think there's some impossibles. I'm not entirely sure. That has size recovery. Uh, Eldorado. Unless you have a max like Eldorado, then most likely you won't have a um, fireball that has a status recovery. So in terms of my team, uh, it's mainly focused on mob clearing with Kira and Bilzebub as well as slayers with pretty much everybody else. Everybody has a demon slayer or a demon's bane and Kira has a full slayer so that counts as a slayer. So four slayers for and two monsters are really good at mob clearing. One kind of well I guess 2.5 considering top of all is not that bad but I wouldn't say she is like super OP in that department when you compare it to Bilzebub and Kira. But it gets the job done in my opinion. And Kirua. And Kirua is very good just because there's no need to worry about his non-gimmicks. Although he does have no block. But he usually doesn't have any no abilities for him to be very good in a specific dungeon. I won't say he's like super OP in this dungeon. It's just that he's better than a lot of monsters out there. That being said, people will be running Mozart's and, and Manas for this dungeon because they have them and it's super easy, just hit each other and stuff, but I don't really want to uh, feed you guys more of mana and telling you guys to roll mana because I know you guys would want to roll mana if you want to roll mana. <laughs> okay, boss, 22 turns, and I want to tell you that you don't really need mana to clear everything. Although I do want to show you how powerful she is, it's just that a one and done deal is all you. Uh, I just want to make it a one and done deal. We all know how mana is and how crazy OP she is. We don't need to continuously, continuously, uh, in terms of my videos, show you that mana is most OP uh, monster right now with her bump combo and stuff. So it's going to be a one and done deal for mana. And then. You guys can figure out if you really want to uh, use mana in future or roll mana in the future. Because I don't, yeah, I just don't want my videos to be saying like, just stack a bunch of manas and you'll be okay. <laughs> because that's not what walkthroughs are for. Walkthroughs are for the general populace that has a lot of things uh, that doesn't have all the monsters. Or all the OP monsters in that in that matter. And sadly, my guys are kind of they are stuck in the corners, but thankfully the Spectres viruses are fixed. 
So I don't have to worry about it shooting towards my monsters. And Tampa Bow. Okay. That's good. Now the good part is that you can use Bells and Boobs Strike Shot to block the virus damage. Because the initial virus damage, like when the specters hit you. Uh, of course it won't block any uh, virus damage that you get caught with, get infected with. But it is something. Okay, final stage starting off with Joya. And I should strike shot as much as I can. Let's strike shot and go side to side. Demon's bank, Demon Slayer and all. Explosion! That is a lot. Holy crap. Holy crap. <laughs> that is a lot. And top of all for the finish. Probably not gonna be a super powerful bombs considering that I don't have a lot of bomb combos I can produce a lot of hits. But I didn't even need the bomb part. <laughs> I just need to swipe. But relatively easy dungeon, although treasure ship, a lot of people will be skipping because he's not that great. Uh, but if you watch my videos before, I say slayers are always useful in some type of form, like especially on stages like this where you don't really need hazards, all you need is slayers. Uh, that Ether Slayer, there could be a future dungeon in a future dungeon that has Ether bosses and doesn't have any gimmicks. Just like this one. Although it is demon for this one. But that's pretty much it for me. Hope you guys like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to click the annotation in the middle. And also have a special discount code for you on Japan Code Supply. If you want to buy some Japanese gift cards, including iTunes cards, thank you. And hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye.